Y'all get ready. Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys. I hope you guys are doing good today. Make sure you guys check out lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea for all your tea sipping needs. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. All right, so I want to come on here and talk about the whole Zonique pulling situation. So if you guys don't know, Zonique is the daughter of Tiny. And if you guys remember about four years ago, I did a video on Tiny when she changed her eyes from brown to ice gray, okay? She went to South Africa to get this procedure done and social media went crazy behind this. Folks were dragging Tiny. They went off on Tiny. Now I understood where Tiny was coming from. She wanted to change herself. People always talk bad about her but like I said back then she needs to be careful because again this procedure has been known to cause blindness in people's eyes and I caught that out which shortly after she got the procedure done she then took her then 19 year old daughter to go get it done as well in South Africa so I want you guys to go ahead and check this flashback out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary to know my opinion on the whole situation so my thing is this while this surgery is definitely not for me i like my brown eyes i have no plans on turning my eyes blue you know what i'm saying it's one thing to wear temporary contacts or contacts for halloween it's another thing to get this eye implant surgery because for me the risks far outweigh the rewards and there's too many people that i've known who i've spoken to on social media over the past few years who have went blind behind this surgery after they saw the video that i made back in 2009 about the procedure in your eye you don't and today she's She's looking at the world through a new set of eyes. Your eyes were brown before. They were brown. Now they're quite light. They are ice gray. That's the color that I purchased. Harris exclusively telling ABC she's permanently changed her eye color with a medical grade silicone. They go into the the eye and they they make a little slit. They take this implant and it's folded up. They open it. Mm -hmm and they spread it over your eye. With the operation illegal here in the States, she went to Africa to have it done. They told me that the procedure was, um, it would be quick. It's um, like five to 10 minutes an eye. They woke me up and it's very blurry and then it just kinda come fades in. And you looked in the mirror and what did you think? I looked in the mirror and I was like, they're amazing. Like, I love them. But some doctors warn that beauty doesn't come without a price. These risks can be sight-threatening and can include glaucoma, cataract, and corneal problems. Her new look raising eyebrows online, ranging from, I see this as a sick act, no doubt very low self-esteem, to, I think she looked better before, but ultimately it's her business, not ours. What do you say to people who would say that this is sending the wrong message to young women? I just wanted to do something different. And it's my, I have the right to do that. It's my body. Your husband initially said, this is sort of crazy, right? Yeah, I mean, he was kind of like, what are you doing? You know. What does he say now? I mean, he loves them. He's okay with them. As long as they're, you know, healthy and they're, I'm not having any problems. And that's the question. Tamika says she feels fine, that her vision is nearly perfect, but with no long-term studies, it's unclear when or if complications could arise. George, she's only a little more than two weeks out with this. She's having the pressure checked. So far, so good, but... but one complication not already known. getting all kinds of hate on social all media. All kinds of... In fact, she Instagrammed this picture yesterday, and she immediately pulled it down. She got so much criticism from people saying anything from, why are you sending this kind of a message? Why are you changing your body? But her response was, people do all kinds of things to change their bodies, from nose jobs to everything else. Still, a little bit of a risky thing here, though. We'll see what happens with her. So all right, so you guys just saw that flag back so now fast forward to 2018 Zanique has had her eyes done for a few years now and I noticed on this new family hustle show that Zanique had one blue eye and one brown eye and I'm like okay what the hell's going on here because you know those, those colors are implanted into her eyes it's not like a contact so why is one in and one out and during the show she makes a startling announcement that they're saying that she could become blind in one eye go ahead and check this out my eyes start bothering me. The doctor told me that you could possibly go blind. What? Honey. All right, so you guys just saw that snippet, okay? So that raised red flags when that preview was going around. 
So then somebody took to her social media page and they flat out asked her, you know, what are her thoughts because they want to go get the same procedure done in Kenya. And this is what Zanik had to say. Check this out. So this person named Naomi Sada says, is the eye color change worth it? Thinking of going to Kenya and getting it. I have done my research, but it will help you if you can tell me your experience. Zanique replied back and she says, well, I didn't go to Kenya, so I can't say if it's safe there or not, but I never like to recommend anyone to do it. I can say that my experience wasn't the best in the long term, but everyone is different. My moms are fine. Honey. All right, so you guys just heard what Zanique had to say. So basically, she's having regrets. You know, this girl could become blind in her eye. So much so that she had to take out the implant. There's been so many stories online of people who ran, you know, overseas to go get this done. This procedure is not done anywhere in America for a reason, okay? I don't think anyone should be risking their eyesight just to change their eye color. Eyesight is literally a gift from God, okay? Eyes are the window to the soul. And when you're putting something in there, not only are you blocking a chance for people to really get to know you and get to, you know, experience that soul within because you're blocking something with this, you know, this, this silicone cover in your eyes. On top of that, it's leading to blindness for a lot of people. I'm really sad right now. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Look at this. Look what I got from Ray Ocular. I'm really sad, but I got my implants out from Ray Ocular probably like six, eight months ago. And I'm getting a lot of troubles. I got glaucoma, I'm gonna get cornea transplants, I'm gonna get, you name it. My doctor here in Idaho, it, they can not do anything. I'm losing my sight as we speak. Now, granted, Tiny has not had any real issues in the past four years, but that does not mean another four years from now, she couldn't go completely blind. When I tell you, when I posted this story on my Instagram page, it caused such a wonderful discussion, so much dialogue. I felt like I left my Instagram page learning even more because for a long time, you know, you look at what you don't have and you think it's better. You know, you see girls with green eyes and hazel eyes and you all think, oh my God, their eyes are so pretty. They have such pretty eyes. And there were girls on there who have hazel and green eyes and they're saying it's not all what it's cracked up to be and I'm like huh what like you guys always get praised what do you mean but they're saying that because their eyes are lighter there's not enough melanin in their eyes a lot of them you know have to wear glasses especially as they get older um, they start to kind of lose their eyesight or their eyes are not 20-20 so these dark brown eyes the melanin in our eyes definitely help you and I never knew that I have you know really good vision 20-20 but I never realized that some people with like hazel eyes or lighter color eyes they can kind of suffer in the vision department and I have noticed like a lot of people I went to school with who have lighter color eyes um, now that they're older there a lot of them wear glasses or they wear contacts and things like that so you know it was really interesting dialogue and then other people were asking well why would anybody do this you know what's wrong with just putting contacts in your eyes and like I said on Instagram the problem is we now live in a microwave society you know we push things as easy and convenient you know what I'm saying without really looking at the big picture you know who wants to stand in front of their sink and clean contacts out with contact solution you know that's taking 15 minutes out of your day and you could be using that 15 minutes to stun on the gram or to check an email or to you know spend time with your kids so they push things as a means of convenience so instead of you taking 15 minutes out your day to put in some contacts on top of your eyes just go ahead and get them implanted and it'll cut down wasting time applying contacts yourself you know so I just find that whole situation just insane and they're doing the same thing with the RFID chip how now they're trying to make it cool to get an implant in your hand and you know you can just scan your hand and buy your groceries because it takes so much effort it takes so much time to literally reach into your pocket or reach into your purse and pull out your wallet and pull out your debit card you know so they always try and sell things as a means of convenience and because we live in such a microwave society where nobody wants to wait anymore you know everybody feels like their time is just you know too precious to be wasted that they sell packages like this to people and unfortunately people fall for it but I think that no one should be messing with their eyes you know at the end of the day Tiny's grown she can do what she wants to do but if her daughter ends up going blind in one eye or losing her eyesight she's going to feel so much guilt as a mother because as a mother and as a parent it's your 
job to prepare your child for the world. It's your job to instill self-esteem and self-love in them. But if you're not having it for yourself, how can you have it to give to your daughter? Where, where is your first impression when you look at your eyes after the surgery? Um, after the surgery, I couldn't see my eyes, but this morning I got to and I really loved them. And I thought they looked pretty. Tiny wouldn't change her eyes, but the sad part is that she still can't see the low self-esteem and the low self-worth that she has for herself. And I'm not saying that she's a worthless person. I'm not saying anything like that because I love Tiny, but she definitely has low self-esteem. Look at her relationship with T.I. Look at all the nonsense she's done to herself, you know, as far as plastic surgery and changing herself to please T.I. only for this man to cheat on her time and time and time again. That screams low self-esteem to me. And unfortunately, she's passed that down to her daughter her daughter who is a beautiful girl a humble girl i love watching her on reality tv she's just a sweet girl never involved in fuckery you know for the most part all their kids are really sweet and well raised and well mannered you know what i mean but for her daughter to think that you know her turning her eyes blue was somehow going to make her look better make her stand out make her prettier is sad because zanique is a beautiful girl you know what i'm saying she's beautiful with her brown eyes and she didn't need these implants and i'm really sorry that she even risked her eyesight like this and could possibly go blind behind this foolishness especially when there's so many horror stories about people who went to go change their eye color and now they're blind and there's nothing they can do and even one lady on my instagram page was saying that one of her co-workers went and got this done and she became blind and no doctor in america would touch her you know lucky for zanique her and tiny are famous but for most people if i didn't implant that shit into you you need to go find the doctor who put that shit into you and you need to have them take it out well somebody who's a regular person who spent all this money to go overseas to get this done they may now not have the money to go back overseas because why they're not able to work because they're losing their eyesight so it's almost like a double-edged sword and unfortunately a lot of doctors are not willing to you know get involved in the mess because let's say they remove the implants and the person goes further blind then at that point in time the person might sue them so I definitely you know understand doctors being wary and not wanting to even touch that mess because again it's illegal in America for a reason so Zanique is very lucky that that she was able to find a doctor to take that out you know so the whole situation is crazy i suggest if you really want different color eyes stick to regular contacts that go on the eye and not the implants because once you start messing with your vision you may very well not ever get your vision back and i hope that zonique's case is a wake-up call to a lot of people who are dying to do this it's not worth it at the end of the day your eyesight is worth it being able to see the sunlight being able to go outside being able to see faces recognize faces to to me, that's way more important than having light colored eyes, okay? So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire disturbing situation concerning Zanique basically going blind in one eye and saying that she has regrets on getting this plastic surgery procedure. How do you guys feel about this situation? How do you feel about, you know, Tiny basically allowing her daughter to go get this done and encouraging this? Would you get something like this done? Would you not get something like this done? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.